Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Go Dynamic IT. So today in this video we are going to see how we can configure our D-Link DAR615 router into access point mode. So people who know the access point mode is well and good and uh, people who wants to know this uh, what is the access point mode and what is the access point will discuss in the video. So let's jump into the video and uh, configure uh, DIR615 into the access point mode. So, so but before that um, your your router your access your DIR61 router should be connected uh, connected to the PC directly through the ethernet cable or you should have connectivity through the Wi-Fi or if you should have connectivity through the LAN. So LAN, what, happen, what happens is like when you have a LAN from LAN, uh, from LAN, um, you can connect your router to the LAN. Let's say, let's say example that you have a bigger network, right? And uh, if you want to configure this uh, access router, say DIR615, DIR then you connect your uh, uh, router to any of the uh, switch port and then from your PC you just configure that you can assign one more additional IP address to it and then you can access that uh, switch to it. So how do you do that? So let me show you, we can quickly show it to you. So you can see here this is my this is my PC and if I go to if you go to the Ethernet adapter, so this, this is my Ethernet adapter, I go to properties, right? and go to TCP IP4 and assume that you have an IP address of your 192.168.20.25 is IP address here right on your primary Ethernet. So you have to go to the advanced and then you have to add it here and then you have to add the IP address 192.168.0.2. Let's say 0.1 is IP address of your access point. You just add 0.1 and the subnet mask and now you are at, uh, now you are adapter Ethernet adapter is having the dual um, IP address and then you can access anywhere you can access your access point for anywhere in the network. This is how you do that right let's cancel it. So let's jump into the video and let's coming come back to the video and um, configure our DIR615 into the access point mode. So let's bring our browser this is my browser and uh, before that let me show you the IP address of my PC. So my IP address of my PC is uh, 0, 0 0.153 and the IP address of this access point is default IP it is 192.168.0.1. So let's open this 192.168.0.1 here. Okay, so now it's... Uh, hang on a second. Okay, so let's bring our... DR615. So you can see here, this is my my uh, DIR615 router here. Now I have to convert this. In, this is this is already configured in the router mode. Now I have to convert this into access point mode. So what you do, what I have to do is go to the setting and click on the setup wizard. Just click on the setup wizard and it will ask you the questions that we need to answer it. So now it says in order to turn configuration, the device should be factory reset default. Okay, go ahead and factory reset it so now it's doing the factory reset of the devices so so guys whenever you want to change the mode let's say from router mode to access point mode or access point to router mode or repeater mode so you have to go through the same process so let's uh, uh, factory reset this box or or you can do the factory reset from the back side of this uh, router or there is one more way you can do the factory reset that I will uh, that I'll create a new video on it. So at this point of time, let's uh, uh, restore the configuration. Factory is defaulted. Okay, so now after uh, reboot, system has come back. So let's begin with the configuration. So it says that uh, device is turned on. Please configure. Okay, click on the start. And then ask about the language. So my language is English. So I am selecting the yes here. And then it's asking about this advanced configuration and continue. I don't want to go to the advanced configuration as of now. Just click on the continue and uh, move it to the menu. So you can see here now it has now it's showing the device mode. Here you can select all this. So this device support the five device mode. So you can see here in the wired it supports the router mode and and access point mode and the wireless. It support repeater, 
uh, WIPS repeater and the client mode that we will discuss later in the different video here we are going to discuss about this access point mode so you can see here notice here the router mode you have a internet connectivity here and then you have a router and then from a router you can configure your devices wireless devices are connected and then your ethernet devices are connected but notice this picture here like when you configure this access point mode you can see here router is uh, router is already there uh, i mean existing router is already there in your network or your home and then from router you are connecting this access point and from access point your wireless device and your line device is connected so notice one thing that whatever ip address range you have configured on on this uh, router it this access point will provide the same ip address range to your uh, wireless and wired devices okay so and now it's asking about the obtained ip address from uh, ipv4 address so for example if you have a dscp ip 192 168 uh, uh, 10 dot uh, x network or 20 dot x network so your i the, these device will obtain the ip from there itself right so i just wanted to go with this uh, same ip address here so so i'm going to i'm going to continue with the same ip address here and this gateway you have to provide the gateway address of your router so let's say if you are changing the ip address here or if you are obtaining the ip address from here either ways you have to provide the gateway ip of your router this router ip address here so now um, now you have given you have to give the uh, host name so assume that you have a uh, you have a uh, house or you have a uh, office something somewhere and you have a two three different floors right so what you can do is, do is to just for naming convention what you can do is you in the host name you can see like uh, um, uh, first floor you can see here you can write like first floor ap01 you can give the name name like this first floor ap01 dot local just it does not support the space so that's a new word you can see here first floor access so if you have a multi floor it will be easier for you to identify this access point and then you can click on the next here it's asking about your wireless uh, network name so here is the default name here so you can say my wi-fi 01 sorry it's a spelling mistake my wi-fi you can give the name of wi-fi wi-fi zero name and then you can assign the IP address, some strong password here. So let's give some strong password here, and then you can click on the next. And now after doing that, it's asking about the web interface password. So this interface is to log into when you try to log into this uh, to this uh, router, it will ask you for the password, so, right? So but by default, you know that's admin admin. You have to change this one, right? So I'm guys changing this to the strong one. Okay, done. And click on, and so now you can see here uh, it's showing you this IP address of this device and the subnet mask, then host name, and then it's the Wi Fi SSID name, what type of password you have configured, then the model of this device, a serial number, access point name, and then the password. So here you have a small option for save the configuration file. It is very helpful, like you know, uh, if you if your router got rebooted or or uh, it's got burned for some reason right so you can have if you have this configuration backup you can restore it back to the device we'll have a different session on it how to restore the configuration but as of now just click on the save configuration and just save it so it will save the configuration now click on the apply so it will apply the configuration on the device you can see here now it's applying the configuration it's gonna take a uh, few uh, second to apply this configuration so now it's apply already applied the configuration and it's trying to reboot this device you can see here this is rebooting now so we have to wait wait until it's get rebooted okay so now you can see here now the device's configuration is ready to use so click on the advanced setting it will take you back to the home screen so i'm running this as a demonstration purpose i have not connected any wire uh, to uh, internet wire to this devices so it may show you that some error that this is not connected here so you can see here um, 
now you can see here this is your access point and this is your Wi-Fi client so it's as of now the number is showing zero but as as your client connects to it it will this number should will go up so you can see here the, um, this is your MAC address IP address subnet mask and your SSID your SSID and the password so this is how you can configure your uh, device into the access point di you, this is how you can configure your dlink 615 uh, router into the access point mode so that's it for today's video if you have any questions qu queries or feedback related to the to, to this video please do let me let me know in the comment box